Alright, the light is looking good behind me. It is now going down that direction. So where I put the hide up the other day is not hopefully now, well, where I put the hide up the other day now is going to be backlit. So again, I'm going for the branch that I've set up just above the feeders. But today though, I'm hoping that these clouds are just going to stay open so that that light comes through and shine on, shines up behind the bird. So it's going to be a little bit more tricky exposure wise, but uh, it'll be really interesting and backlit images can create some really cool results. Um, and I haven't, like I, this is the first time I'm trying this right here. I don't know exactly where the sun is going to go down, if it goes behind some houses or when it goes behind the hedge. So I don't really know what, exactly what kind of light I can expect. Um, I know I'm not going to have the very last bit of light because it's going to have gone down behind houses and hedge before that. But um, it'll be interesting to try it out. So let's just get in the hide and uh, hope for the best. Do you know it's something, been waiting for something for ages and ages and ages. And then it doesn't happen, but then something maybe even better happens. Well, that's what happened tonight. So I've been sitting here trying to get these backlit images from the branch here. And it's been working. The light was really good for quite some time. I think the last 20 minutes, maybe up until about five minutes ago, so about 20 minutes up until five minutes ago, the light was brilliant. It was on the branch exactly where I wanted it, but not a single bird has actually landed on that branch by the time I've been sitting here. And then accidentally, I kind of, I look up above the hedge and onto the chimneys that are in the background up there on the houses further away. And I couldn't quite be sure. I think it was rooks. Probably could have been jackdaws. I was sitting on the chimneys. Other jackdaws and rooks. I think probably jackdaws. Sitting on the chimneys, and just as the the cloud kind of frames the whole, all the chimneys and and the um, jackdaws, the crows are just silhouettes on top of the chimneys. So I tried a few images, and it just it looked absolutely superb. I really like that image. 
There's actually a bunch of them. I don't know which one I'm going to like the most. I'll show you guys some videos here. So, basically just been sitting here waiting for something to happen and then something even better happened. I had planned everything. I knew when the light was going to be there. I knew I had the brand shop. I just needed the birds to come. And they just wouldn't. But I really like this twig and the, and the backlight that I can get here. So I'll try again tomorrow. But I'm going to show you guys this tonight because I'm just so excited about this. Have a look at this. here but I really like this just how the clouds just frames the whole scene it's really lit up in the background and I had to go with so it's an ISO 100 I was shooting the ISO 100 the whole time so I would have the most amount of detail and then um, to photograph these jackdaws in the back so I didn't blow out too much of the highlights because the Sun was coming through there as well I brought it up to 8,000 of a second, which is the highest shutter speed you can use in this camera. But I also then had to go up to f11 to make sure that I wasn't blowing out anything. And I just, I just love some of it. I love, that, I love the feel of these images. I can't wait to edit them. Thank you for joining me again out in the garden today. Um, didn't work out with the backlit images that I wanted today, but that silhouettes probably came out even better, more than I could have hoped for. So, I'm going to wrap this up in one video for this, and then we're going to come back out another day, hopefully tomorrow, and then try for some more backlit images on the branch of the birds that hopefully will come there that time. Then I'm going to show the shots that you guys have been contributing using the hashtag shot from home. So, until next time, see you then.